Welcome to this video. We are going to answer the following question that is on this slide. We are given a function f of x and y and we are being asked to find the intersection points with the three coordinate axes, the x, the y and the z axis. And as it is given in the question, the graph of this function is a plane. So in general, I'm going to make a sketch not of this particular um, of this particular function, but in general of a plane. And then what we have is we have the three coordinate axes. So we have the x, the y, and the z axis. And the idea is that if we have a plane, let me do that in red. If we have a plane, for instance, like this, then it will intersect the coordinate axes at three points, and we are being asked to compute these three points. So it looks like I drew a triangle here, but of course the plane extends in all the, all the directions. And the plane that we are considering is the graph z equals 5 minus 1 half x plus 3y. So that is the plane that corresponds to this function. And if we rewrite it a little bit, you see that the equation we have is minus 1 half x plus 3y minus z equals minus 5, like this. Um, now, to find the intersection with the x-axis, what we need to do is to put y and z equal to zero. So let me write that down. The intersection with the x-axis then we have that y equals 0 and z equals 0. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug that into the equation for the plane that we have here. So what that gives us is um, minus 1 half times x plus 0 minus 0 equals minus 5, so we have that x equals 10. And the same holds true for the um, intersection points with the y-axis and the z-axis. So for the y-axis, what we get is um, so intersection with the y-axis we should put x equal to 0 and z equal to 0. <clears throat> and if we do that into this equation, what the equation is going to give us then is that 3y equals minus 5. So let me do that. Three y equals minus five. So what we find here is that y equals minus five over three. Now, in the same fashion, to find the intersection with the z-axis here, what we do is we put x equal to zero, y equal to zero. We find the equation minus z equals minus five. So z equals five, and then the point that we have is um, 0, 0, 5. So to wrap up, this here is going to give us the point minus 5, oh, sorry, 10. I was reading a line too high, so we find 10, 0, 0. Then the intersection point with the y-axis that is going to be 0, minus 5 over 3, 0. So that is this point here. And then finally, the intersection point of the z-axis is going to be 0, 0, 5, and that is this point. So what you see is that the correct answer to the question is option 
see here. I hope this was clear and I'll see you in the next video.